Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Level Live with me, Voltage McGammer. Today I'm going to go and check out some other stuff that you can usually miss when you finish this chapter. A lot of people just hand his, him his coffee right away. But I like to get a little additional text. Because everybody loves text. It isn't moving. There are burns all over its body. That's good. Status of ID system. AI program quarantined. Currently operating as a low-level computer. Any conflicts within the system will be resolved by block. Computer capsule password. J-U-D-G-E. Hmm, judge. Well, we couldn't enter it before we checked that console, so let's go check that console. Speaking of consoles I haven't checked, there was another console on the third floor I haven't checked. That's because it was blocked by a darn robot the whole game. So let's go check that console. Personal storage. Please dispose of unnecessary objects. To think, if Kato got rid of that stupid robot, he wouldn't have been injured. Oh well. Let's go up here. Let's enter in this password. Judge in all caps, I believe. Verification complete. Hmm. Only the ship's captain has the authority to view this file. Oh no, I'm not the captain, but... Please enter password. What was his password again? I think it was Oak for the... Verification complete. Secret file. Maintenance system test data. Crew data. Evaluation. Results. Huey, negative. Kirk, positive. Rachel, no data. Carter, no data. Exemplary attitude. Huey, negative. Kirk, negative. Rachel, no data. Carto. Positive. Cooperativeness. Huey. Negative. Kirk. Negative. Rachel. Negative. Carto. No data. Sense of solidarity. Huey. Negative. Kirk. Negative. Rachel. Negative. Carto. Negative. Final results. Overall evaluation. Negative. Chance of accidents. High. No possibility for improvement. Rearrange deemed necessary. That's actually kind of sad. Oh well. Well, I guess they've been rearranged in another way. As morbid as that joke is now. <sighs> The other thing that you could potentially miss would be that thing in, uh, Huey's room, but I found that earlier. So? That was a nice use of four minutes, wasn't it? Let's go give him that coffee. That's probably gotten cold just sitting in my inventory like that. Oh, there's a box here. I can't do anything with the box. certainly is bitter, but right now, it tastes fantastic. Hooray, we did well! <sighs> well at least Kato's going to be okay, or Kato, or however it's pronounced. It doesn't matter. All he did was get beaten by a cube robot who looked a lot like us. I bet he's never going to trust us again, though. Man, 
That cargo hold didn't do anything. It was completely useless the entire time. It didn't even hold the behemoth. That was a nice try, I guess, but I mean, seriously. Should have had thicker plating on that thing or something. I don't even remember where it got out of the thing. And there's the behemoth's dead body, in case you didn't go and check on that. Uh, the others are all dead, though. Well, at least we can put their bodies in here so that they don't decay. That way they can get buried on Earth or something. Wait, aren't they supposed to be buried at, like, I don't know, put into a coffin and then sent down to the... Sea of space or something? I don't know how it works. Stupid computer. Remember, kids, defrag your computer constantly and check for viruses. Keep your computer's maintenance in top shape at all times, or else it will kill you. Not really. Unless you're in the future. In which case, it will kill you. Don't let it. Well, if he can figure out how to work all these things and get everything back to Earth, then that'd be great. He's a military man, so I'm sure he can get the job done. Man, he was so cool this chapter. Except when he was mean to us in the beginning and punted us across the floor. I didn't really like that part. But other than that, he was amazing. Report. Registered vessel, Cogito Ergo Sum. Civilian transport. En route to Earth. Picked up while derelict near Earth. Mother computer, Haywire. Onboard cargo, unknown life form. Hal, Captain, Kirk, Pilot, Huey. Assistant, Rachel, Com Officer. The above four crew members are dead. Their bodies have been confirmed as being aboard the ship. Carto, Mechanic. Currently undergoing medical treatment. Corporal Darth. Retired from military service. Currently developing medical robots. Addendum. Within the ship, a smaller worker robot was discovered. Its name was registered as Block. Why do we get this music now? What, did I go haywire and kill everybody? And so the Earth was doomed because I went haywire and killed Earth. Or something. Uh, I, I don't know. I guess you can interpret that ending any way you want. Oh wait, I know. There's more behemoths out there, and they will learn to fly. They will learn to fly! Good end! Actually, the only end, because that's the only way that chapter can really end. Okay, so I've completed all the main chapters! Look at that, we have seven heroes. But wait! Night! It is a good night for a night. And so we shall start nighting. What, no intro? Night! Is this okay? Yeah! Doesn't this sound familiar? Yes! Now we can get to control a medieval knight! And now, the semi-finalists in the Lucasia Battle Tournament. In the West... Um... What is your name again? My name is, of course, Blade! Yeah, because I'm a knight and I use a sword. Clearly, Blade is the best name ever.
In the west, it's Blade vs. Armstrong. And in the east, it's Straybo vs. Watt Nobby. Good luck! Okay, here's the trick to these fights. Run right up next to him, and use V-Shine, because it's clearly better than Cut One Way. V-Shine! Monk shoot. What the? That was weak. Ah, uh, poison! What did you, fart on me? Ah, uh, V-Shine! Downward slash. Ow. That really hurt. v -shy. And now you're dead. Take that. Right on! In the west, the winner is Blade. And in the east... Daddy! And so they will be dragged off. Goodbye, losers. Poor kid. Why a stray bow? And now, before the finals, a word from the king. Mm, the both of you have some straightened from the superb skill in this morning. <laughs> Keep it up. Remember to the winner. <laughs> I give the right to marry my daughter, the Princess Alicia. Blade, give it everything you've got, even though we may be friends. I'll never forgive you if you go easy on me. Now then. Blade vs. Straybo in the final match. Begin! Straybo! Run right up next to him. Okay, I'm in his blind spot. Let's turn here. What? Red bullet? No! Fire, my only weakness! That's okay, I have V-Shine! Mine's doing more damage, but he hit me first. Now, take this, V-Shine! Yeah! Right on! The princess is mine! Blade is a victor! Ugh. It's alright. You've won. Come forward, Blade! Well done! Well, done indeed, Blade. Blade, was it? You certainly seem to be very strong. It is with pleasure that I become your queen. Mm, to Blade goes victory, as well as the hand of Princess Alicia. In celebration of these two, on Sir Soldier's Lucretia's future resides. A feast! Let us all eat, drink, and be merry. Oh, what a day! Father moved in it a little at the feast, admittedly. But he's happy to have an heir such as you. Of course, I'm happy too. Please stop calling me your highness. But I didn't say anything. I'm just me now. From this day forward, even more than father. More than anyone. What? Ah! Next time on Let's Play Level Live with me, Boldish McGammer, we fight Dragnon with Blade! Later, warriors!